look for all the inefficiencies in your habits and and it's again going to be small changes inside huge impact outside let's say you want to get physically fitter and there's a particular eating habit which is preventing you from doing it that eating habit has been part of your life every day for the last 15 years or 10 years and it's going to be part of your life for the next 20 years every day and it's the default mechanism you take unless you break it you are not going to be able to change your eating pattern if you don't change your eating pattern you will have to do five times the work to get as fit as you need to be i have not read that book the power of habit but i, I can understand what the power of habit would say because i i know the power of habit by myself so coming back uh, let's let's imagine uh, uh, let's imagine you have a habit of let's say taking a smoke so every time there's a trigger around you you're going by car you're going by your bike and there's a tobacco shop around your default mechanism is stop the bike take the fag have a fag and and move on that's a default mechanism now you have to break that habit and when you break a habit you have to implement a lot of will power to break it it does not happen by itself you're going on that bike or you have a habit to drink soft drinks or your habit of not concentrating because you get bored with with the content in front of you whatever it is which is hurting you these habits are hurting you i mean i'm not saying that habits are bad some habits will be very good in your life so if you have a habit of respecting your elders if you have a habit of of listening to others well it's a great habit to have if you have a habit of reading things every day and you cannot do without without reading it's a great habit to have you want to actually protect that habit you want to strengthen that habit but then there are habits which are affecting your performance the habits which are affecting you and your outcomes un habits ko tum kitna chalaoge and how long will you continue those habits so if a habit has been continuing for 5 10 years once you identify so the process of learning is identifying the habits with that you need to break for an outcome you need right so in a maths question if you have a habit of giving up too early you have to break that habit if you want to improve your your mathematics so coming to the point so once you identify the list of habits and you should have this as i said this has to be the next 40 years it's not something which is which is a 3 month thing ki agle 3 mahine tak jab tak cat ka taiyari kar rahe ho jab tak kisi exam ki taiyari kar rahe ho tab tak kar lo usko this is a lifelong thing and you have to live on these principles for the next 40 years of your life if you continue doing that you start becoming legendary in whatever you do and and you don't need to call yourself legendary people will call you that because your work will speak for itself and your work is what will make you a legend i mean if you look at any field in the world whom do you call a legend somebody who's who's performed right so coming back to to what i was saying so at every point in life you should have the list of beliefs you want you are looking at changing the the next set of beliefs you need to change it takes maybe a month two months uh, to change beliefs it takes 21 days to change a habit i read that somewhere if i have a habit of of stopping for that fag then i need 21 days of continuously not stopping in 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 that book uh, emotional intelligence daniel goleman has talked about habit as the most practiced response the recency of the response is also very important So 10 years of of executing a habit if you realize that is optimal you can change it in 21 days by by using will power and after 21 days of stopping it you you stop requiring will power because the new habit starts taking over it becomes your most practiced response when you talk about adult adult learning identify the sets of habits you need to change what are the habits that are impeding your your success you you want to become a great corporate uh, leader what are the habits that is that are stopping you from doing it let's say you have a habit of reacting to external people and you want to change that habit because it's affecting your leadership status it's affecting your your interpersonal positions in life in your organization let's say you have a habit that you can't work after 6 hours 6 7 hours ke baad tum nahi kaam kar sakte you have that habit right so these are habits that you need to change you need to break those so jaise tum identify karte ek habit ko which is impeding your performance then you have to be ruthless against it I, i don't know whether it's 21 days or not i said i read somewhere i'm not endorsing 21 days but what i'm trying to say is that when you try to change a habit there will be a band of time it might be 21 days it might be 5 days it might be 3 months i have not never tested it and there's no way to put a thermometer and check it but there will be a band of time where you'll require a lot of willpower to change that habit and as that band of time starts passing by the amount of will power required starts reducing because you would have left it out and uh, that habit has started getting loosened in your in your head so if you want to change the results from the world you have to change how you behave and 95% of your behavior is built on your habits 
So if you change your habits, your behavior changes and your outcome start changing. For me, learning as an adult is these fine tunes that I need to keep doing in my life so that I become a, a slightly better version of myself every day. If I keep improving 2%, 3% every day, over a period of a couple of years, I'll be a thousand times better than what I was earlier. Mm-hmm.